The season has officially started, but we are coming back with one more round of scorching hot takes before we officially, officially start. Because we got games today, and we're going to get cooking here. Do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? I can't decide, dude. I was actually just thinking that, and I don't know. Hmm. We got to decide because we got to get going here. Let, let, let me go first. You think so? Let me go first. All right. I trust you. And unfortunately, this hot take is... Don't tell me it's bad. ...so correct... Oh, it's not even hot. ...that it's not even hot. But luckily... Would you say it's lukewarm or room temp? Here's the thing. It is, in fact... This, watch this, Dan. It is, in fact, the coldest take of all time. I thought cold takes were bad. Like, cold takes were like, you were so wrong. Isn't oh, that like that's a cold take exposed? Yeah. Like, what's yeah. the what's the? How do I describe something that is just right? Yeah, like freezing cold take is usually when you're wrong, when you've got something so fucked up. But actually, I like that. No, I like that. So Did I think that room, being called that. Yeah, I was gonna say it, if it's the opposite, it should be something that's just like, well, no, that's obvious. But that's yeah. not that's not what it means. So if hot, I if I said hot, like if I said pasta will score ten goals at least ten goals this year, what, how would you describe that? I would not call that a freezing cold take. I would call that. I'd be like, that's the most lukewarm take of all time. That's obviously happening. Okay, so this spectrum here is not is fucked. It's not. Great. <laughs> it's fucked. It's not perfect. It's a bit. It's a broken. Because hot system. take is like, whoa, that could be wrong. Cold take is that is wrong. Yes, which doesn't make yeah. sense. <laughs> Warm take is like that's <laughs> like, duh. Oh, yeah, duh. Yeah. This <laughs> okay. is a completely ridiculous scale. <laughs> yes. Okay. So the reality is what I'm about to say is the most lukewarm take of all time. Okay, I like that's it. how right it is. This is just a right take. A but, correct take. But. The perception by everyone listening to this is that it's the hottest take of all time. Okay, all right. That's cool. how dialed I am compared and to everyone else. Compared to everyone else. Got it. Gabriel Landeskog oh. will play oh. over 42 games this year oh. and be over a point per game. Oh! Dan, let me hit you with some, I love some it. data. I okay? love everything about it. 2019, Landy, 75 and 73. Yep. 2020, Landy, 44 and 54. 21, Landy, 52 and 54. Yep. 22, Landy, 59 and 51. Come on. The game isn't gone. And Dan, how old do you think he is? I think Landy is 29 years old. He's not, but he's 31. Okay. And I feel like people think he's like 35. They're they like, do. Andy's fucking dinosaur. Like, what a career. Put a bow well, on it. You know, I, I think they just get in their own way thinking about the knee. Because the, oh, sure. the, 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 the knee is 80. The knee and the hip the, 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 Dude, the knee is 65. The hip is is 90. Yeah. The hip's had a hell of a life. That's a Gandalf knee. Yeah, dude, a hell he's of a life. He's got Dumbledore's hips and Gandalf's knees. But Dan, thank you for saying that because what I'm realizing, what I have processed, okay. is that Landy was Gabriel the Grey. And now he's Gabe the White. And now he has died in the pits of hell and fought <laughs> the ball... What's his name? The, 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 ba- ball the ball rook. The ball oh, rock. Yeah. He's fought what's him his off. name? Find I'll out. I'll figure that out. He's fought him, dude. Okay? He's gone through hell. He's jumped on the back of an eagle. He's going to walk into the, into the Avs locker room. Balrog, dude. Balrog. Yeah. He's going to walk into the Avs locker room Nate Dogg's going to pull a bow on him. Nate Dogg's going to pull a sword on him, ready to strike. And then he's going to say, it's Gabriel the White. Wow. He's going really like to go, Gabriel the Gray, that's what you used to call me. I'm Gabe the White. And he's going to go over a point per game. Wow. And I almost said over 60 Do you think it's going to be Kale going like this? You fell. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you fell. If Gabe doesn't walk into the locker room day one in a robe with a staff, it's a huge missed opportunity. Dude, he's Gabriel the White. And I almost, I almost said over 60 games because they're saying there's no time till, but they said near start of season, but you know, I could see that just getting pushed a bit. So I'm going over 40 okay. and this is, this is obvious. This is already happening. That's why I said it's a lukewarm take, but unfortunately okay. most people are dumb and they don't realize that this is happening. And I am here to educate them. Gabriel, the white has arrived. I think it's gotta be Landy, the white, cause you've got Gabe the grand off two syllables. Gabriel is three syllables. And that's that's bothering me. Gabe, Gabe, I, my Landy my the Gray autistic brain is not accepting the three syllables. Landy the Gray, Landy the Gray, Landy, Landy the, the White. White. So 
lookout cookout when the Avs add those 60 points onto the team wow. this year. Do you think he's going to get 60 in like yeah. 45? 40, yeah, 60 and 49. Wow. Nah, he'll, yeah, he'll get 50 if he gets 49. I 60 and this, 50. Dude. I love this so much. Okay, my hot take is bad for your hot take. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Just because that incredible season by Landy yep. is going to be all for naught. Oh, shit. <laughs> because I'm here to tell you right now, there's a lot of teams that people are talking about with a big, stiff, pumped up mm -hmm. excitement for. Yep. It's pumped up excitement. Veiny. Veiny. Yep. Throbbing excitement. Yep. A lot of teams. Can I name them? Yes. Preds. Yes. Uh, Oilers. Yes. Big time Oilers. Rags. Yeah. Panthers. Yes. Leafs. Yeah. Forget Devils. Me. Yeah. Especially after that start. Um, You're forgetting one up northwest. Canucks. Yes. Let's talk about those. Yep. Let's talk about those two Canadian teams out west. The Oilers and the Nucks. Mm -hmm. People are throbbing for them. And I've got bad news for them too. Because my hot take. The Dallas Stars are going to the Stanley Cup. Dude. The Dallas Stars are going to the Stanley Cup, man. Here's, I would be here, happy, but you're going to get burned on this again. I'm not going to get burned. I've been burned so many times. Same. And here's the thing. I am a charred corpse. I am Anakin <laughs> Skywalker crawling up the side of the mountain. Yeah. Just torched. Dude, because the Stars had the higher ground. And, you know, they did. You, you, well, no. <laughs> Unfortunately, the, the Oilers, Edmonton yeah, had the, the Oilers had the higher ground. But I am being dragged into the facilities of the Emperor. Mm-hmm. I'm getting picked up by Wyatt Johnston, yep. by Jason Robertson, yep. by Rupe Hintz, by Miro Haskinen. The, by the Stank Man. By Thomas Harley, by the Stank Man, by Marchment. How could they by lose? By Maverick Bork. How could they lose games, dude? This is what I'm saying. By Jake Ottinger. And I'm being put together and made into Darth Vader. Dude. And I'm going to march with the Imperial March behind me to the Stanley Cup on the back of the Dallas Stars. Everyone is somehow sleeping. People talk about the Central, and they're like, stars, you yep, know, stars yep, are great. Yep. But people are still being like, I don't know, man. I could see Colorado winning the Central. Dude. They're saying the Jets. They're saying they're place. saying, um, they're saying, saying the Preds. They're saying the Preds I'm are going to show Preds. up with Stammer and with Marshy, and they're going to win. But I'm here to tell you that Dallas is somehow just falling through the cracks of people talking about cup favorites, and the Dallas Stars are just going to have too much. Their depth is going to overcome the young stars of Vancouver. They're going to overcome the juggernauts that are Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl because they've got the top talent on offense. They've got one of the best defensemen in the league in Miro, and they've also got Harley in there, who is an absolute stud freak now as oh, well. Dude. They got Stank and Maverick Bork showing up. They got Marchman and Wyatt Johnson, and they got Otter. Otter's in a contract here. Otter hears the criticism. He hears people saying, maybe he's not as good as we thought. Maybe he can't take this team back to a stand. Maybe he's cup. not a playoff goalie. Maybe he's not worth more money than all the other goalies in the league. And he's going to say, yes, sir, I am, and take them right to the Stanley Cup. And God damn it, CP, they might win. Dude, they might win. They just might win. I love the Dallas. We might have to do this all year. I love that Dallas is the empire this year. Like, I want them to be Darth Vader. I want Darth Vader sound effects coming up every time I talk about the stars for the rest of this season. I agree. I'm going to slide in some sort of a Empire, Darth Vader, yeah. uh, the Emperor. I'm going to just slide in a lot of Star Wars stuff when talking about the stars. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. You get stars, it, dude? It's Star Wars, and a galaxy far away. Yep, dude. filled with stars, filled with star players. <sighs> They've even got a player named Maverick Bork, dude. <sighs> Stanley, <sighs> Cup of Baron. <sighs> that's what's happening. The Dallas Stars are going right to the cup. Wow, bro. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. Here's time. the thing, man. We see we we you know, we saw it with Florida. Florida was getting good. They had some upsets. They had some down years. And then bang, they upset the Bruins and they go right to the cup, the right to the cup, and then they get PP whacked by Vegas. Yep. And then they go, not again, dude. Never. Never what did again. Kachuk say? Told you we'll be back. Yep. The stars got PP whacked. Yep. They should have gone to the Cup oh, this dude, past year, and, melt. and they, they came in and they melted against the Oilers. They had a horrible series, and they let the Oilers slip by them. I get it. They're slippery. They're covered in oil. Yep. But now, dude, the Stars are going to be shooting. They're going to yeah. be shooting Stars. Shooting Stars. And they are going straight to the Stanley Cup. Everyone's got all this money on Edmonton. Edmonton lost. McDavid got his taste to the Stanley Cup final. He's not going to let that slip yep. away. 
I agree. He's not going to let it slip away. He's not. He's going to try. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately, the evil empire and the Dallas Stars are doing it. Are doing it. They're going to go. I'm sorry, dude. It is our time. You're. You'll be back. You'll get that cup. We all know he's going to get that cup, but it ain't this year because the Dallas Stars are too good. They will not be denied. Yeah. They've already got all these guys who are popping off. Robo has already had a 100 point season. They got these young guys who are going to step up and be better than anyone could have ever imagined. There's just going to, they're too much. They're too much. Another scorcher. I, I can feel it, dude. Yeah. The Dallas Stars to the Stanley Cup final. Print it, release it, read it. Read it. Bestseller. Pulitzer. 